That's it, right there. Two E notes in unison. That's all I want to do on this guitar. I could do that for hours. This is the kind of guitar that kind of puts all of the guitars to rest. And one of the problems of working in a great music shop like the Music Emporium is that when we handle guitars like this, it, we get jaded. We do. It's best not to get used to these things. They're for us to enjoy for a little bit, but this does not, that doesn't define our day to day. <laughs> That's a treat. That's a treat, and we can carry that in our tonal memories and keep searching after this guitar leaves us for that sound again and marvel at it and wonder why it's happening. And But I think it's a good thing that there's only a few of these out there and that they're in few hands. Because if this, the, if this was the bar that we all had to meet, people would stop building. <laughs> but this is the thing that excites us and keeps us coming into work each day. And every time someone comes in with an old guitar case, we're always hoping it's going to have that's, that sound in the case. That's a beautiful thing. Honestly, when you get into the minutiae of a guitar and you start pulling it apart piece by piece, you do what maybe scientists do and they take the essence out and they separate it into its uh, parts and then it becomes less of a musical instrument and more of a, a lab species. So you can talk about originality all you want. You can talk about is that the original nut, original neck set, original frets, original finish. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It's one of 91 guitars built by Martin up to 1942. This truly represents the pinnacle of Martin's uh, guitar building prowess. They've built copies, and I've played the copies. They don't sound like this. Mm -hmm.